Hello and welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays Confection. Today we're going to make some lime image candy where we'll be making about 500 pieces of candy, each with a picture of a lime on the inside of it. We've cooked our sugar to over 300 degrees Fahrenheit and this has driven all the water out of it. It's now pure sugar and we pour it onto our over 150 year old candy cooling table. The table will pull as much heat as possible off the candy and get it to a workable consistency and temperature for the rest of our project. As we start adding our food coloring, let's think about the design of a lime. A lime has several components. It's got its inner wedges of a light green. It's got its pith, the white parts between that. And it's got its rind. And we're going to make all three colors, a light green, a dark green, and a white for our design. After we've got the rind color correct in the lower part of the table, we drag some of the color up to the middle of the table. This will make sure the colors are in sync with each other, but since we have less color in the middle, that part will become the center of the line. The uncolored amber sugar has citric acid added to it, that's the white powder, and it'll be blended in to produce a beautiful white for the pith. The citric acid, of course, is what makes the lime candy taste sour, like a lime. Then we cut the parts apart, let them drip and even out the temperature, and we can start working on the design. Because the lime is part of a mix of candy, we make a citrus mix with orange, lemon, lime, and grapefruit. We're making a half batch of lime. This is a smaller batch than you normally see us make. And we're going to hand stretch the white on the candy heating table. This is to keep the candy from cooling down too fast, and also it's a bit hard to stretch the smaller batches on our candy hook. While Joran is stretching the candy, Maggie is making six wedges. These wedges are going to be the wedges for the inside of the lime. She's cooling them quickly on our candy cooling table because they need to be much stiffer and much cooler than the rest of the candy to maintain their shape when we do final pulling. Lofty Pursuits is located in Tallahassee, Florida. If you ever have an opportunity to come by, you can watch us make candy in person, or you can just go to www.pd.net. Check out our candy there, and you can order it, taste it in your own home. We ship worldwide. Maggie assembles the line by putting the wedges together separated by strips of white to represent the pith. She does this half at a time. Very much. We're Bounce House, and it's great to be back here in the exit. Sometimes I feel like I'm drunk behind the wheel. However it may roll Give it a spin See if you can somehow factor in You know there's always more than one way To say exactly what you mean to say Was it out of my head? Was it out of my mind? How can I hear a grim so blind? I was waiting for an indication the rind is added, and then we shrink the log into the rods that we're going to pull from it to produce the pieces of candy.
Stretching the candy is learned by touch, and we stretch the candy without distorting the image. And that's one of the arts of this technique of candy making. Even at this late stage, the sugar is hot enough to deform under its own weight. So we have to keep it rolling to keep the shape round and to keep our candy looking good. We roll this candy until it becomes hard enough to cut. And then we cut it into pieces. In this case, about 500 pieces, about half our normal batch. But when combined with the other four batches, the batch of lemon, orange, and grapefruit, we're going to end up with twice the candy we usually end up with. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, or get our candies over at www.pd.net, our website. Thank you for watching. That was a fast fall song. They were all they were almost